Worse than a horror movie, that's how the Fitushka family described their ordeal inside a detention center. The entire family was detained on August 10, the evening after protests started against a disputed presidential election. Police responded with violence and detained nearly 7,000 people across Belarus. It, it was a very planned situation and these guys who were you know, beating us and detaining us, they told us that they have uh, an order and they, have, uh, they, they can do whatever they want. So they have the, like, the highest permission to do anything. 16-year-old Miron was the first family member to be detained. He was walking with his mom when armed police grabbed him. There was no protest at the time. When Christina, a marketing analyst, and her husband Andre, a doctor, went to a police station to look for him, they too were detained. They were taken to Okrestina, a detention center in Minsk, where many detainees have said they were tortured. All the women were forced to completely undress and they were filming us on their phones. Then we moved to the floor where naked men were kneeling, hands behind their backs. I could only think about my son's friend who saw her father naked in this position. When she turned her head away, she was beaten. Christina, who is a diabetic, says she lost consciousness after being refused medication. She was kept with 34 women for three nights in a cell, meant to hold four people. Men were screaming for their mothers. There were the sounds of electroshocks, sounds of horror, sounds of beatings. And there were women in our cell who knew their children were among them and their husbands too. It was horrifying. It was more horrible than being beaten ourselves. We were afraid that they had captured the whole city and they would kill everybody. They were shouting at us that they would do that. While mothers outside the detention center kept shouting their children's names, Miron was released after six hours. I had no illusions about police and uh, you know the state in Belarus, but I just experienced and faced it myself. The worst experience was actually you know looking for my parents. I didn't know where they were, and it, it was terrible. And uh, I just found out that I can not tolerate this this people being in power. After looking around the country for his parents, Miron found them after three anxious days. The Fatushka family and others who have been detained here at this detention center in Minsk have asked their lawyers to file cases for unlawful detention. But human rights groups don't believe their cases will ever go to court. And because Belarus has not signed the Rome Statute, there's no international court to turn to either. Human rights groups are now preparing hundreds of testimonies to be sent to the UN Committee Against Torture. They not protect people from the state. The state can do everything with the people. We will have more and more uh, case, political motivated cases and more and more political prisoners, but uh, you know, people not like him anymore. That's a, that's a reality. Like many others who were detained and abused after the election, the Fetushka family says that fear has now been replaced by anger. This anger, they say, has now united the Belarusian people like never before. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Minsk.